Welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn chapter 1, Electrostatic. And in this video, we will continue to discuss 1.4, Change in the Potential Energy and Work Done. So in previous video, we already know that the potential difference, delta V, is equal to work per discharge. Okay, so we also can write as work done is equal to test charge times the potential difference or we can expand it become Q times change of the potential difference eh? where change of potential difference is V final minus V initial. Okay, so if you substitute Q into the potential, we will get Q V final minus Q V initial. Okay, so QV actually is our potential energy. Uh, so we can write as U final minus U initial. Therefore, actually our work done is equal to change of the potential energy. Okay, so this is how we get uh, potential change of the potential energy equals to work done. Okay, let us look at the notes below. If the value of the work done is negative okay meaning that the work done is by the electric force or by the system okay so if the work done is positive okay meaning that the work done is by the external force or on the system okay so meaning that if let's say the work done that you get is negative meaning that the system will do the work Okay, by itself. Okay, so meaning that it's by the electric force, meaning that it's by the system. But if the work done that you get, the value that you get is in positive, meaning that the work done is by the external force. Okay, meaning that we need to do work or on the system. Okay, so for example, here I have um, four example. So the first one, if let's say, okay, if you refer here. So the first example is, this is a point charge. Okay, this is the point charge and here the red color here is the test charge. Okay, so this is the test charge. So what happens is if we insert a test charge into the system, what happens is positive and positive. Uh, positive point charge and positive test charge. What happens is it will experience a, a repulsive force on the test charge. So this repulsive force, this test charge will move away from the point charge okay so if let's say we want to do work okay we want to bring uh, the test charge from b to a okay from b to a do you think that we need to do work okay so because naturally naturally our force because it's repulsive force huh? uh, when we insert the test charge we know that the test charge of course it will move to the right because of the repulsive force so if you want to shift this test charge from b to a what happened is we need to do work okay so before that we need to find out first what is the value for uh, point a and point b so this is a positive charge meaning that the potential at point a for example let's say it's 10 volt Let's say at point B is positive, uh, 8 volt. Okay, so work done is equal to test charge time V final minus V initial. Okay, so if let's say test charge is let's say our uh, uh, one one coulomb. Uh, let's say this test charge is one coulomb. So one coulomb times V final. V final meaning that from B to A. So our final is 10 minus 8. Therefore. So 10 minus 8, we will get positive 2 joule. So when you get positive, meaning that the work done is by the external force. Okay, or we can say it's on the system. Okay, so meaning that we need to do work to shift the test charge from B to A. Because the test charge when we put inside... Uh, automatically it will uh, repel away from the point charge positive and positive uh, positive point charge and positive test charge what happens is it will experience a, a repulsive force on the test charge so this repulsive force this test charge will move away from the point charge okay so if let's say we want to do work okay we want to bring uh, the test charge from b to a okay from b to a do you think that we need to do work okay so because naturally naturally 
our force because it's repulsive force eh? uh, when we insert the test charge we know that the test charge of course it will move to the right because of the repulsive force okay but if you want to do work okay but if you want to shift this test charge so if you like to shift this test charge from b to a what happen is we need to do work okay so before that we need to find out first what is the value for uh, point a and point b so this is a positive charge meaning that the potential at point a for example let's say it's 10 volt let's say at point b is positive uh, 8 volt okay so work done is equal to test charge time v final minus v initial okay so if let's say test charge is let's say our uh, uh, one one coulomb eh? let's say this test charge is one coulomb so one coulomb times v final v final meaning that from b to a eh? so our final is 10 minus 8 therefore we will get negative 2 joule okay so when we say negative here meaning that the work done is by the electric force okay okay so 8 minus so 10 minus 8 we will get positive 2 joule so when you get positive meaning that the work done is by the external force okay or we can say is on the system okay so meaning that we need to do work to shift the test charge from b to a because the test charge when we put inside uh, automatically it will uh, repel away from the point charge okay so it will move to the right but if let's say you want to bring it from b to a you need to uh, do external force huh? you need to bring it uh, external force okay you need to so meaning that you need to uh, meaning that you need to add in the external force to bring the point charge from b to a okay so let us look at the second Part, huh? if let's say you want to bring the test charge from a to b and huh? now you want to bring it from a to b before that we need to find out first what is the force exited on the point charge okay this is the point charge and also test charge so since this is both are a positive charge a huh? positive charge so we know that a positive positive is a repulsive force so this test charge of course it will move to the right okay so if you want to bring this test charge from A to B, A just now we found that it's 10 volt and um, V is 8 volt right? because it's positive charge, so V is positive. Right? Okay, so if you want to bring uh, the test charge from A to B, meaning that Q V final minus V initial, so our Q is 1 coulomb, so now V final will be 8 minus uh, initial 10 volt. Therefore, we will get negative 2 joule. Okay, so negative 2 joule here. Negative mean, means that uh, the work done is by the electric force. Or by the system. Okay, meaning that we don't need to add in the external force. Uh, because when you want to move A to B and when the, uh, the test charge is positive, so automatically actually it will move to the right. Okay, so you don't need to do work later. It will bring... Uh, automatically the system will bring this point charge from a to b yeah, because positive positive is a repulsive force so later it will go from a it will comes to b okay automatically uh the work is done by the system i mean the work done is uh done by the system okay okay next case three case three the point charge okay this is a point charge and this point charge is a negative point charge okay so this is a negative point charge and the test charge is uh, also positive eh? okay we assume all are positive eh? so this one is positive test charge okay so this is our test charge okay now we want to bring uh, the test charge from b to a eh? we want to bring it from b to a so do we need to do what or uh, the work is done by the system okay so before that we need to find out first what is the forces uh, between the negative and positive charge so the point charge is negative and the test charge is positive uh, meaning that 
it is an attractive force. So this dash charge automatically it will attract to the point charge. Okay, so when you want to bring this dash charge from B to A, okay, uh, from B to A, do we need to do work? Okay, so actually we don't need it because we know that uh, positive negative is attractive. So the dash charge later will uh, automatically it will move from B to A, uh, from B to A. So coincidentally, you also want to bring it from B to A. So we don't need to do it. Uh, it will move automatically from B to A uh, because it's attracted by the negative point charge. Okay, so we try to calculate work done is equal to Q times V final minus V initial where Q let's say uh, we assume that it's one coulomb so now our V final okay now our V final is uh, uh, VA uh, because it's from B to A so we need to find out first what is the value for uh, VA so since this is a negative charge so when we substitute uh, KQ over R where this Q is negative therefore we will get VA is the negative value so for example negative 10 volt and B is negative 8 volt now why negative because of the point charge is negative so we substitute negative 10 minus negative 8 okay so negative 10 plus 8 meaning that we will get negative 2 joule okay so again negative here if you follow the uh, notes just now negative here shows that the work is done by the system uh, meaning that we don't need to do extra work okay the system will automatically bring this dash charge from b to a uh, because it's attractive force okay next example four is you want to bring the dash charge from a to b okay from a to b so before that we need to find out first what is the force Okay, uh, between the negative and positive. So just now we already mentioned that because the point charge here is negative and the test charge is positive. So positive negative is actually attractive. So the system actually will attract this point charge to the uh, to the left, uh, meaning that it's uh, attract to the left to the negative point charge. Okay, so now you want to bring from A to B. Uh, A is negative 10, uh, B is negative 8 volt. So when you want to bring the test charge from A to B, okay, we need to calculate. Okay, Q V final minus V initial. So one coulomb V final is negative eight minus negative ten. Therefore, we will get positive two joule. Okay, so positive here meaning that the work is done on the system. Okay, or by the external force uh, meaning that we need to do work uh, why we need to do work uh, because uh, based on the attractive force okay negative positive is attractive force so this force will actually will pull this point charge uh, i mean the test charge near to the point charge to the left but if you want to bring the test charge if you want to bring the test charge from a to b to the right meaning that we need to do extra work uh, because the system will bring the test charge from uh, from point A near to the negative point charge okay so we need to do extra work to bring it to the right okay so this is what we call uh, the work done so the work done is actually is the change of the potential energy okay so next we go to electric potential energy of a system of a point charge okay so this is the energy yeah, the total energy so the electric potential energy of the system okay of the point charge is defined at the work require assembling this system of the charges by the bringing them close together so as in a system from an infinite distance where is the electric potential generated by the charges okay which is function of the pos uh, position of r so here if let's say we have q1 q2 and also q3 okay so meaning that the electric potential energy of the system you can be calculated by using the equation below so if let's say we have three charges meaning that we will have a uh, three uh electric potential energy eh, because uh the electric potential energy equation is u equals to k q1 q2 over r okay so when there's a two point charge there will be uh, one electric potential energy okay so for example let's say a and b yeah? q1 and q2 here here we have u one two 
Okay, so there also a potential energy between charge one and also charge three. Okay, besides that, we also have the potential energy between charge two and also charge three. Okay, so meaning that when we have three point charge, we will have three potential energy in this system. So we write it as u one. 2 plus u 2 3 plus u 1 3 okay so we can substitute inside u equals to k so k we factorize out q1 q2 over r 1 2 plus q2 q3 over r 2 3 plus q1 q3 over r 1 3 okay so this is the electric potential energy for the system okay of the system so this is the method how we calculate okay if let's say all the point charge gathered together so this is the method how we calculate the total potential energy of the system okay so that's all for 1.4 so please look at the next video we will discuss on the example of the uh, electric potential energy okay see you bye